Back when I was younger, 15 years old, I was trying to figure out where I'm gonna go. I was out there trying to find a block of gold, a rainbow. I was chasing a rainbow. Used to ride out every day all alone, trying to figure out why the world's so cold. Now I think about the words my mama told. She said, uh, When this dog came, all, she's only been here for a couple days. Uh, she had zero ability to walk correctly on a leash. She would literally pull like her life was on the line, very predictable. And the best I can guess, if she would have got off the leash at that point, she's gone. Uh, where we live, night, night. There's a lot of distractions. We obviously have a lot of dogs out here. We have chickens, we have a ton of deer, wildlife, and a lot of wide open property. So we're just starting to really imprint and condition on her the off leash uh, style of obedience that we like to work with here. Why do I still have a leash in my hand? Equipment conditioning, right? She knows what the leash means. So when we first have them off leash, I always want a leash present in case something happens. But I also want her to understand the leash is here to help me remind her the behavior that I want and that we need. So let's get right into walking around a little bit. Okay guys, walking on the gravel is one thing. It's defined uh, left and right parameters. Believe it or not, it is for the dog. Walking out here in the open grass with the pasture and all this wide open space in front of her is a whole different ball game. Let me tell you why. She's a very nosy dog, nose to the ground all the time, air sitting all the time, looking to run all the time. Her genetics, her instinct tells her to run. Her nose tells her to run. The wide open spaces are calling to her to run. So. Well, you see her right now, right? She's starting to track. Yep. At nighttime, this bottom pasture, these fields are filled with deer, coyote, skunks, possums, foxes, you name it. They're here, bear, it doesn't matter. They're all over the place. So all that odor is out here. There's also a ton of odor of other dogs out here. So now we're gonna work on some healing in the grass while she can view everything and see if we can keep her focused a little bit. Yep. What? Guys, for our final test for the night, and again, this dog's only been here for a very short time. We're just, we're still rocking. Anytime you hear that tone come on her, that beep, this is her conditioned response to come back. So we are very big and we're strong believers in a tone recall. Uh, there's, there's no more clarity once the dog has clarity of task than the clarity of a tone recall. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down a lower pasture. It's tall grass. Uh, dusk is setting in on the side of the mountain right now. A lot of activity. You can hear a lot of movement, a lot of things starting to happen on the side of these. Uh, we're surrounded by woods to left and right. Hopefully we keep her with us. I think we will. I wouldn't risk it, but uh, we're going to take her down to the lower pasture, let her smell around, engage her nose, and uh, let her experience that. Maybe the first time she's ever been totally off leash, running, and kind of getting into hunt mode. Might be pretty, pretty, pretty nice for her. Let's see. So, come on. This is not the last time that I will stand in the spotlight. Mark my word. I will snatch what you own. Better get ready to lose to the throne. This time last year, I had to prove something. Nobody could tell me I couldn't do nothing. Yeah, don't you know I put it down? 
and close it for the night. It's about to get real dark real quick. Uh, there's really no ambient light where I live. So we're going to get her back in the mix as much as you can possibly get. Uh, different life. She may have been doing some pretty cool stuff somewhere, you know, running, running different stuff and uh, chasing odor. But that's not her job. It's not where she lives, but uh, she's doing fantastic. So she's on the collar and it's being conditioned correctly. We're working in motivation. We're working in drive. We're keeping the dog enthusiastic. We're letting her know she can have some freedom. But when we say come back, come to us, this is a non-negotiable request. You can't negotiate it. You have to come back immediately when we call you. So we work on that. Uh, we build that fundamental uh, as, as rock solid as we possibly can. Three commands can really change your life with a dog. The first command is the word no. Does the dog know what the word no means? Truly, most don't. Does the dog know a recall? Absolute, non-negotiable, any circumstance, any distraction, anywhere, come to me right now. And does the dog know how to open his mouth? When you say the word out, you must spit. When you say the word here, you must recall. When we tell you no, you must stop. Those three words uh, are often overlooked in dog training. Sometimes people want a perfect sit, a perfect down, a perfect heel, but short of the leash, the control mechanism, the dog really doesn't know how to be a good dog. So sometimes focusing on the actual livability qualities can improve everything else, but different talk for a different day. That's it, Ridgeside Canine. Let us know if we can help you.